waking you up a bit. I'm trying to put some Chinese flavor, so perhaps I will uh, pronounce this. Wo xi wang ni xi huan chi ge xiang zuo. Hopefully, it's understandable what I meant. Anyhow, it's written, so you know what I meant. Actually, if the translator is good. Nice. Okay, concentration. We have stopped at the moment when we uh, talked about earlier about NPV, net present value, and internal rate of return. Fine. We have two tools, two procedures, and they are very good. However, they have sort of different concept and they give different information. So let, let us read this. When we use the NPV method to evaluate a capital project, the discount rate is the rate of return required by investors for investments with similar risk, which is the project's opportunity cost of capital. This is the benchmark. You remember, we calculated NPV assuming a certain rate of return. So, if this assumed certain rate of return was, say, 10, and at this 10% the NPV was positive, we accepted the project. As simple as that. Whereas, when we use the IRR, internal rate of return, we are looking for the rate of return associated with the project itself. So that we can determine whether this rate is higher or lower than the project's opportunity cost of capital, which is the rate of return required by investors for investments with similar risk. What does it mean in practice? It means that we assume we need to have this 10% say. And when we calculate the internal rate of return, and it happens to be 15%, for example, then, of course, we accept this project because it is a higher internal rate of return than our desired benchmark. Brilliant! Let's go further. But then you might ask, okay, but which one is better? NPV or IRR? Hmm. Very difficult question. Which one is better? Hmm? What do you think? What do you think? I mean, very, very fast brainstorm. What do you think? Which one is better? Heavy question, which one is better? Because when we think about that, net present value, yeah, it comes in terms of money. The real tangible money. Some kind of wealth that is added to the company. Whereas, internal rate of return, IRR, gives us the answer in percentage when the NPV is zero. We have the percentage to compare. So it is not really tangible money. Yeah, we know we gain money, but uh, how much? It's not clear. But both of these procedures give us the decision Rules. Yeah, we could, with the rules, accept, reject the project. Accept, reject. So, which one is better? It's still hard to answer. We will um, continue with this question all along this uh, lecture. And because we dealt with um, NPV earlier, and we know it's hard cash, it's money, and, and then IRR seems to be nicer, yeah, because it gives in the answer in percentage, gives us uh, how much, how rentable, how, um, how profitable our project is. 
it gives us imagination say we desire 10 and we find our project is like 50 percent wow that's great that's just genius eh? right so because it gives us this answering percentage and gives us to imagine how wonderful our project is we tend perhaps to prefer IRR however there are several pitfalls drawbacks um, how would say uh, uh, weak points of the IRR I have found in the dictionary um, there in Chinese what pitfall is because generally it's a trap yeah but pitfall is sort of that it's a danger that we could uh, get in or or weak points or inadequacy so four 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 main pitfalls let's deal with them finally pitfall number one is sort of what are we doing it normally would need some of your calculations and it will take some time unfortunately I cannot judge it because I am in the distance but we will deal with that so we have a project a, a very nice project the cash flow is minus in uh, initially minus thousand and in period one it gives one thousand 500 so nicely what is the IRR of this project please do the quick calculations maybe I should say as well that uh, we should use a certain percentage anyhow it will take too much time so I will give you the answer IRR of this project is 50% yeah plus 50% fantastic project really and now we calculate this you could do the NPV it has the cash flows like this minus 1000 and plus 1500 and we assume let's do it at the cost of capital 10% this is our assumed um, rate of return 10% and please do the quick calculations and I know you have the answer there on the PDF but you might do it it's not too complicated I will wait like about 30 seconds all right you surely you know how to do it or your neighbors or uh, colleagues somebody would know maybe uh, Lexi would know and would help you ah, sorry Lexi for that I'm very sorry so still about 10 seconds yeah we calculate the net present value of this project at the discount rate of 10 percent okay five four three one zero the NPV of this project is 364 exactly it's a positive figure 364 so we should assume that this project is acceptable because it has a positive NPV at 10% rate now now something magic will happen magic we have another project project B when in the period zero initial period zero is a 1000 plus and then in the period C1 we have minus 1500 okay what is the IRR you should do the calculations maybe somebody will try to do <clears throat> okay I will tell you the IRR of this project is plus 50% fantastic project wonderful IRR is fantastic okay 
So now, brilliant, you have such a, such a very good bunch, uh, bunch of students. Please calculate, please calculate the NPV of this project. I will give you about 30 seconds, please draw it, and then we'll turn, okay? And by the way, I will uh, uh, regulate the, um, the phones and mic. Okay, so you do these calculations, neighbors as well, your friends around. So now we have the uh, answer. I just try to make the phone to the front that it, it gathers better the sound. All right, maybe now. Okay, the calculations. So what is the NPV of this project when internal rate of return is plus 50? Boom. What has happened? Yeah, I'm surprised as well. <laughs> exactly. The project V, NPV, is minus 364. Minus 364. So, so how's that? How's that? We have two projects. Yes, we have the same IRR, plus 50. Great project. But we have different an opposite NPV, more to that, one is positive and one is negative. So how could we decide about these projects and how at all, how is that all possible? Right, this is the pitfall number one. The pitfall number one is because we should know what we do, right? It is possible because of different sequence of positive and negative cash flows. When we see closely, in reality, the project A is lending money, somehow lending money. So we lend money at 50%. Yeah, so it's a great project. In reality, as we could see it mentally, the project B is borrowing. We borrow 1,000 and we have to repay 1,050. Wow, this is the key. Let's uh, have a, a quick check. We go uh, up uh, certain, yeah, uh, just to uh, the beginning. Yeah, you see, here is like minus 1,000 and then it's plus. And when we go to the next project, it's other way around. Yes, firstly it's plus and then it's minus. Therefore, the IRR comes the same, but NPV comes totally different. So, oh sorry. So we should really remember what we are doing. 